Hi, it's Jenny Jan the Plant Friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I'm going to feature plants that are in LECA. We're going to go with plants that thrived, died, and those that are trying to survive. So let's get started. The first one I want to feature is my Philodendron Birkins. I love this little guy. It's been healthy, it's been thriving in LECA. It's been in LECA um, probably about three weeks or so. No yellow leaves. Um, I actually have uh, some new growth coming in. I have a leaf that's unfurling here, um, and I really love that. I also have the nice um, healthy water roots that are coming in. I'm gonna zoom it in so you guys can see that. And so this is one of my, I like to say, prize um, possessions because it's doing so well in LECA. So we're gonna talk about the ones that are thriving in LECA first, because I wanna give you the positive. So um, the next one that I wanna share with you is my um, Hoya Australis. This little guy has been in LECA since, um, it's been in LECA probably a month now, and it too is doing very well. Um, I do the um, wet dry cycle with the, with the Hoyas and look at those water roots. So right now it's currently dry, but look at the water roots coming in. I mean, you can just see that I love seeing the roots come in and I, I just love healthy plants. So the next one that I wanna feature is my um, ZZ plant. Now, this guy here, it's a little heavy, but has been in LECA, has been doing very well. Um, the pot that it's in, it's very difficult to see the roots, but um, there are water roots there, and there this plant is doing very well in LECA. Um, and I also have the ZZ Raven that's in LECA that's doing well. And um, so I, I know that we're, we're gonna have some that do well and, and, and maybe not so well, but I just wanna show you a couple more because when I started this LECA journey about, I think it's been about five months now, four to five months now that I started, um, I, I had pretty much, it seems like I was having a lot of successes. Um, this one is um, doing fa fairly well. It's been in LECA since uh, June and it is thriving. I have it in a cash pot here and I also, but you can see the roots and it's, it's doing quite well. I don't see a lot of water roots, but I know that this plant is healthy. It's blooming. Um, you can see there, there are the blooms. And so it is doing very well. That one um, leaf that you see that's not so well, doing so well, has been that way. And I just didn't want to take it off completely. So I've been um, leaving it there and just trimming it back. But I think I'm going to have to take that one off altogether. But this is another one that's thriving. In Lekka. And then I want to show you my Scimdactus pictus, which is in Lekka. And this one has been in Lekka. And I use these little green tabs because I really want to remember when I transferred the plant to Lekka. I want to know when um, I put the nutrients or if there's any problems, I just jot it down on this little um, card tab. And so this one has been in Lekka since um, June 28th and it's doing very well. I've had several new leaves that have unfurled in here. You can see, uh, again, the healthy water roots that are coming in. I just recently flushed this guy, and um, so she is doing well as also. And then I have, out of my, you know, I really don't know the number count of my plants. I don't know right now, but I do know that I would say it's anywhere from 75 to 100. Um, and probably about 50% of them are in LECA and doing very well. But then you have those times when you get something like this. This, remember we're going thrive, died, and trying to stay alive. Actually, this one's trying to stay alive. It's not, it hasn't quite died, but uh, I, I'm not really sure what's happening with this guy. Um, I know they don't require a lot of water. I see a lot of roots. I am planning to um, take this out and check the root system, pull off any um, dead roots and, um, and you know, spray it with hydrogen peroxide and give it a fighting chance. So 
This guy, I would not say has died, but is certainly not thriving. It's somewhere in between. So, now this one really broke my heart. I just want to tell you guys, I struggled, first of all, with putting this plant in LECA. And when I finally did, look at what's happening to my Monstera and a sunny eye. Are you kidding me? I am blown away. It was doing so well in soil, but I want, I want to transfer all of my plants to LECA. And so I waited and I waited and I waited. And finally, it's been in LECA since um, the 5th of July. And then I flushed it two weeks later um, because I saw a few yellow leaves. And this one is in the trying to stay alive category. It has not died. As you can see, there's still some healthy leaves on there. There's still leaves, um, you know, trying to unfurl. I mean, it's not dead by any stretch of the imagination. But what am I going to do with all of this? I am so disappointed can't really see any roots right now um this guy sits near a east facing window it is under a grow light but that's not that's not i'm not really sure what's going on with this um i actually it needs a doctor's appointment this one needs help so um this one is in the trying to stay alive category now this little guy which is a dwarf um wandering jew he uh, she's dead uh, just just has been in like uh, two months and just continued started out a pretty full plant this is all I have left and really I don't have anything left but um, sad but not distraught but I'll be right back because I want to show you something that will almost make you not want to go the like route but when you have more successes than failure you keep pushing so hold on guys. So I didn't want to move all of my plants, but I really want to show you I have a little rehab corner, but for this portion of the video I don't want to go in that direction, so I'm going to bring the plants to you guys. So, in front of me are plants that have pretty much died. Well, no, not that one. These three. This is, uh, and I think this is my umbrella plant. It was a huge plant. I keep flushing it. I keep taking it out. I keep changing the water, letting it go dry. Not happening. Not working at all. Have it in a little mesh pot with uh, just a little bit of water right now because when it was in the dry phase, it did nothing. So I put it in, put a little more water in it, trying to give it another shot. There are no water roots. I don't see any roots. Now, today I will have to probably take off everything that's dead and see what's left and then just see. That's where we are with this. So this guy... This guy is a reverse, or they call it variegated spider plant. It came not in the best condition. It started out, so, so it didn't start out a healthy plant. Um, but it's pretty much dead. It's just, that's it. That's it. There, there's, there, like I don't even feel anything that's living at this point. Pretty much dead. So this one will take to the um, graveyard and we will um, boil the lacquer and reuse it. We'll definitely reuse that lacquer. Now my TriStar, I'm not real sure. Just this guy just never converted to lacquer very well. It's been in lacquer since June, the first week in June. And this is it. Everything, this is what every leaf did. Dried out, they just never perked back up. Even though this feels like it has some life still left in it, um, the curling and the, so this guy's got to go, you know, and maybe what I'll do is if you guys know of something that I can do to save this one, I will certainly entertain that. We'll put him aside because 
I don't know. You know, I keep trying to hold on when I probably need to let go. So this one is in the diet category. What else do we have that's thriving? Well, oh, I love this one. This is my Philodendron Birkins. So what I'm doing here, I was going to just do all thriving, all dyed, and all what. But what, the way it's flowing, let's just go with it. This one loves Lekka. Let me say that again. This one loves Lekka. I put this plant in Lekka with a few uh, leaves. It was pretty healthy, pretty healthy root system. This guy took off, uh, started getting all of these new leaves unfurling, more coming on the way. Um, look at that water root. Just loving Lekka. Can you see it down there? Now, I, I really prefer the clear pots because I like to be able to see the roots. But as long as I can see one hanging out like that, now I, I will repot this one up just so that I can not have the water just sitting, uh, the roots just sitting in water. But um, so I will repot it up in the same pot probably. Um, but just loving the Lekka life. And so I'm really excited about this one. And let's see, what else do we have? Oh, my other, now, you know, I'm coming to realize that maybe I have more successes with uh, philodendrons because this is another philodendron heart leaf and look guys look at those roots do you see those that's the little water reservoir there so I can flush it but let's see let's get those roots down to you see those roots those are nice healthy water roots that's stretching toward the bottom look how nice and healthy the plant is now I know some people say that that they struggle with their philodendrons and lack of that's not been my testimony. That's not my story. But, you know, I have other struggles. So thank God that this is not one of them. But this one, and it sits here under a grow light. It's next to a, it's next to a east facing window, but mostly under a grow light and doing very well. So we've done plants that have thrived, plants that have died. Now, Let's show you some that are trying to survive. We went with this, the um, uh, ponytail palm is trying to survive. Now, I do have a couple more that are in Lekka that are trying to survive. I have my Palia pe Peperimortis or friendship plant or Chinese money plant, whichever you call it. Um, and it's been in Lekka since May and it is trying to survive. It's putting out new growth, lots of new babies. Um, but then I'm getting yellow leaves like this. Now these are older leaves and I'm not sure if this is just what will happen and they'll fall off, but it is trying to survive. So this goes in the trying to survive category. Um, then I have my, my Dwarf Fiddly Fig. Guys, this thing, this thing, so, was a full plant, and I put it in Lekka, and within a day, lost all of its leaves, like, everything just fell off. Freaked me out. So, I just held on to it because it, it looked alive, it looked like it was trying to do something. I started to spritz it. I put a little sphagnum moss on it. I took it through the wet dry cycle, all of those nice roots in there. Let's zoom in so you can see that. And this one uh, is trying to survive. Look at all the new growth. Look at all the new leaves. Now I could have, when that happened, I had these three leaves left. This is all I had left. And I could have just thrown this out. But I just felt like, no, maybe it can come back. And I'm, I'm actually, thinking that something's going to come on this one. Um, so this one is in the category of trying to survive. It, it is trying to survive. Another one that I feel like is trying to survive is this, uh, this is the Moonshine Philodendron. And it's pretty dry actually, so I should give it some water. But it had several leaves on it and I'm down to three. And then this guy popped up. So I'm like, well, you are trying to survive. So 
we're going to put this in the category of trying to survive. And I'm going to leave this out because I need to water that one. So I have several more, but I really just wanted to touch on a few. I wanted to show the side of Lekka that's um, not the fun side necessarily, but it's encouraging because I'm sure there are other people out there that have plants in Lekka that can share with you stories that of plants that survive, thrive, or died. Um, but I just wanted to do it because I know that when I started out, I thought that I was the only one having fails because all I saw were people having successes. And so I wanted to reach out and say, hey, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I am having some failures over here. And so I wanted to share that with you guys today. So thank you so much for tuning in. I don't want this video to be a really long one, but I'll be filming and giving you some updates on these plants as we go and as I convert more plants to LECA. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button if you like this channel and you want to continue to follow me on this journey. Um, give me a comment. If you have some ideas of anything that I can do to save any of these that are trying to stay alive or that have died or um, give me a comment and, you know, let's see where I can go with it because I am definitely open, open to um, hearing your suggestions. So thanks again so much for tuning in and we'll see you the next time. Bye now.